It could have saved my sister. I could have spent my Christmas with Hana. I could have begun 2022 with my favorite person by my side. And we could have had our family dinners without an open missing seat at the dining table. Raina St. Juliana's sister, Hannah, the youngest of the Oxford High School shooting victims. The Oxford High School junior in Lansing Tuesday speaking on what Democratic lawmakers are calling common sense gun laws introduced in Lansing months before the shooting in Oxford, but never passed. The next step should not be training kids to barricade doors, hide in corners and to live in fear. The next step must be to pass laws and create the change that will prevent this from ever happening ever again. Don't let another child lose their life this way. Democratic lawmakers pushing a series of bills that would legally require the secure storage of firearms away from children in a lockbox or secured with a locking device. And there's a second component. When you do allow a minor to have possession of a gun, you're going to be held accountable if they use it to cause harm to themselves or others. If these bills are going to pass, it's going to take bipartisan support. That means votes from the right. We asked the attorney general if she's seeing any of that support here in Lansing. I had a, a meeting with Mike Shirky and we discussed some potential options. Some he liked, some he didn't like. Senate Majority Leader Shirky apparently told Attorney General Dana Nessel he is not receptive to these safe storage bills. I do know that there are Republicans that support safe storage and understand that this isn't, you know, a matter of infringing on anyone's Second Amendment rights. This isn't taking guns away from anybody except for people who should not have them that are children. The bills have yet to be put to a vote in both the State House and Senate. Reporting in Lansing, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.